Hare Krishna. The world points to Krishna and often misses the point of Krishna. When we look at the world around us, we see many attractive things. Beautiful rivers, majestic mountains, beautiful birds flying in the sky. And of course, attractive people with captivating qualities. The Bhagavad Gita explains that everything attractive in this world manifests a spark of Krishna's splendor. In 10.41 it is stated, Yadyad vibhuti mat sattvam shri madurjitam evava tatta devava gachatvam mamatejo amsha sambhava so, Oh, now when Krishna says that everything attractive comes from him, everything attractive manifests a spark of his splendor. And the Gita also explains that we are all souls who are parts of Krishna and we all are meant to find eternal fulfillment in learning to love Krishna. But unfortunately, when we see all the attractive objects of this world, rather than recognizing that their attractiveness is temporary, we get captivated by them. And because of such captivation, although they point to Krishna, we get caught only with them. So, the world can refer to the things around us and the world can also refer to worldly people. So, when we are in worldly consciousness, then we miss the point of Krishna. Oh, that's why we need to study the Bhagavad Gita regularly. And by studying the Gita, we understand the connection of the world with Krishna, the connection of ourselves with Krishna. And then, when the world points to Krishna, we will point our life towards Krishna. And by the practice of Bhakti, we will be able to perceive and relish the all attractiveness of Krishna. And thus, we will be fulfilled the purpose of the world. Thank you. Hare Krishna.